What's happening? It's Mike with Workout Finishers, and this is a special video I wanted to make for you guys over at Critical Bench. And what I want to talk about is using a body weight finisher after your main workout. The reason why is because it's your it's what's called a bang for your buck method of training. In other words, you've already done your main workout, so you've done your strength work, but what you want to do is you want to add an element of conditioning because believe it or not, when you incorporate conditioning into your workout, you can actually perform better with your main workouts. And the best way to do this without having to sacrifice a lot of time is to incorporate what's called a finisher. Now you probably know what a finisher is, but just in case, in a nutshell, it's big compound movements and of course very short rest periods, if there's any rest periods at all. Now one secret that I like to use with my finishers is to actually perform the exercises with a faster tempo than you would normally. So in other words, a push-up would be something like this, right? Just a regular push-up. But when you're doing a finisher, I like to speed up that tempo. And just really crank them out. So if you're doing timed sets, for in other words, say you do as many push-ups as you can in 20 seconds, you really want to crank them out because a finisher is designed to literally finish you off. And what that's going to do, there's a couple of benefits. One, you're going to improve your performance in the gym because you're going to improve muscular endurance. And two, it's going to help burn off extra fat. Of course, during the summertime, people are always focused on their belly fat. And it's just a great way to incorporate conditioning into your program, help you smoke some fat without having to invest a lot of time. So that's one secret that I like to uh, share with my readers is that the tempo with many of the exercises, you want to increase that. Same thing with burpees. You know, in burpees, you know, your main workout, you might do something like this and then jump back up. Well, in a finisher, this is when you really want to lay it on the line. So you just crank through you know, as fast as you can when you're doing those burpees. So keep that in mind. And again, we'll talk to you later. And I got some more tips coming on the way.